the chaos and disorder witnessed at the Liberal National Convention, starkly highlight a profound disregard for existing authority and an alarming lack of order. Some of your seating with them, it would be great. And then I don't have to come down there, like, in a dress and, you know, flat, thankfully not heels, and, like, get in a chair fight. That is, I am the chair of the party, but that is, like, so ugly. I don't want to, like, fight with people or beg and plead. Like, let's just make room for the delegates, because those are the people you're trying to persuade right now, right? Like, you're already sold. Our delegates are not sold. And President Trump is here to try to sell them and talk to their concerns. We want to make sure they're heard. So let's take like five or ten minutes to try to sort it out so I don't have to have security get involved. Four rows plus tables. Some in the audience. First floor rows plus tables. Tables that had reserve sides on them too. Let's start with the first floor and see what progress we can make. We're going to start. The chairman's urgent call for Donald Trump supporters to vacate coupled with threats to summon security, reveals a disturbing lack of respect for leadership and established procedures. The unruly conduct of RFK Jr. supporters, combined with the pervasive animosity towards Donald Trump, serves as a glaring indicator of society's decline in upholding traditional values and manners. This shift marks a departure from the conservative tenets of respect, courtesy, and constructive dialogue. Trump's uncompromising stance on severe punishment for drug dealers and his advocacy for issues like Ross Ulbricht's commutation resonate with democratic principles that prioritize law and order. His position underscores a deep commitment to preserving social stability and safety, aligning with conservative ideals.